So it seems like nowadays there are hundreds of investing apps and platforms that are just begging for your hard earned money. I wanna make sure that in this video, you don't screw up and choose a bad brokerage to start investing with. I've researched and analyzed the most popular brokerages on the market today in order to give you my list of best investing apps here. Not only that you guys, but I have firsthand experience as a regular Jung to give you my honest thoughts and feedback as a newer retail investor, just like you as well. So make sure you watch this video till the very end because I also got a special little treat for you and I'll be giving some free stocks away on top of the free content and value we got. So if you enjoy videos like this on YouTube, be sure to like this video. It really does help out the channel. And let's get started. I want to first talk about why it's so important using a reliable app. I'm sure 90% of you all know about the recent Wall Street Bets, AMC, and GME historical movement. You may have been a part of it. You may know someone in your life who bought into it as well. The reason I bring that up is because when Robinhood, one of the brokerages who was under the PFOF business model, and they decided to stop all buy orders on these stocks, we learned more about the leaks and holes within a commission-free brokerage like this and how important it is to know exactly who we're giving our money to. Not only did this decision cost retail investors potentially millions, if not billions of dollars, but it really upset the entire world. To me, reliability, transparency, ease of use, and extra features are all principles that I value when considering what the best investment service would be. So I finally decided to create a list of my top three brokerages that you can check out as well. Also, keep in mind, each one of these apps offer a particular benefit or service that really complements one another. With all the thousands that are out here and some of the dinosaurs and even the wannabes, I've truly narrowed it down and I'm gonna be explaining to you what they are, what it is, the pros, the cons, the disadvantages, and the final thoughts and how they all really just glue together. So this is really just the three you're gonna need in order to potentially become that millionaire. And I am rooting for you. I want every single one of my viewers to become that millionaire soon. All righty, da 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 da. So let's get started. For my true beginner's best investing app, I believe Acorns is actually one of the best apps to start using today. So I have personally been using Acorns since 2018. And let me tell you, it's one of the least stressful investing apps to exist on this planet. So let's talk about what it is, the pros, the cons, and my official bottom line. So what Acorns is, is they use a robo-advisor model to automate savings from spare change. So imagine this. Say you go out to Chipotle and you end up buying a burrito for $10.50. You can set up Acorns where you round up your purchases to the next dollar and they invest the rest for you. So that $10.50 Chipotle burrito, it would get rounded up to $11. They would then take that 50 cents and invest that into a wide variety of different assets depending on your risk profile for your own account. This is amazing for any beginners who want to invest, but don't really have the knowledge or time to start. Now, one of my personal favorite features of the app is the hypothetical projection it gives me based on how much I invest today. This is so important, especially to new beginners when you're able to see the long picture and realize, hey, investing is not just this short term YOLO short squeeze call that's going to happen. This is going to be something that you're doing for the rest of your life. And if you're able to take a look and take a stand back and see that long term profile, it'll help a ton of new investors to realize slow and steady may be the way to win the race. I highly recommend anyone who is a college student, you don't know anything about investing or even people like my parents, they're first generation Korean Americans that know nothing about stock market. They just work traditional jobs. And this is such an easily automated service where I would recommend this to people in my life, my loved ones that have zero experience or knowledge about stocks at all. Now, on top of that, I've actually had my portfolio set up on aggressive for the acorn settings. And although we've been going through some extremely volatile market movements, I've had a beautiful, consistent growth of over 40% for my entire portfolio. Now, look, I know what you're thinking. With an app like this, there's gotta be some caveat, right? There's something's gotta be wrong. And uh, like every most good thing, there are some slight disadvantages. So Acorn does charge a $1 a month fee to start, but if you use my link down below, you'll get $5 to sign up or you get five free months. I do believe the $1 monthly fee is such a tiny drop in the bucket in comparison to the savings and resources you get with this app. So it's really completely up to you. The other disadvantage of Acorns is that it's so automated, you won't be able to make those yellow to the moon plays with an app like this. 
That's why for our second best app on this list, we got ba -ba -da -bum, public.com. So unlike Acorns, public allows you to be much more hands-on with your investment. They recently dropped the payment for order flow business model since the Wall Street bets catastrophe had happened. So the easiest way for me to explain what public is, think of Twitter like having babies with Robinhood. This is a platform that allows you to make those commission-free trades with no minimum deposit, all while adding a nice little social media element that allows you to follow and browse other people's portfolios. If you want to go on public.com and see what I'm trading, you could go ahead and do that as well. Public is 100% free to use and even covers the transfer fees if you wanted to move your money from other brokerages over to their platform. On top of that, they allow you to buy something called a fractional shares, meaning if you can't afford to buy, for example, Tesla at the $600 per share mark, you can buy a small fraction of it. Say you wanted to buy like a $15, $20 amount of Tesla because you love the company, but you may not be able to afford it right now. Public sounds great and all, and I love the social media aspect, but they still have their disadvantages as well. The interface itself seems a little bit crowded to me. This may be because you just have a lot going on within the app when it comes to mixing social media elements and putting robust analytics and details from invested companies. I personally feel like there's just a lot going on in there and it just seems a little crowded to me. Now, other than that, my biggest disadvantage and complaint with public is that they don't have a desktop or website platform. You can only use this app with your mobile device, which can feel pretty limiting at times. Other than those really picky things, I believe public is a great place for intermediate traders. And if you love the social aspect, you'll really enjoy using this app. Now, just for my viewers, Public gave us a special link where you'll get anywhere from $25 to $50 if you sign up using my link down below in the description. You don't have to use any of those links. If you have a friend or a buddy who may have one, go ahead and take their link. But I know that if you sign up for Public, just going on the App Store, you're not gonna get any type of bonus. But if you use my links, they will provide you with some free stocks, free cash just to get started. Now, on top of that, if you really wanna take it one step further and really heighten your skill levels as an investor, I believe the next best app on this list is going to be Weeble. So I'll be the first to say it. I here was a very strong hater of Weeble. Uh, in the beginning, I was not a fan of their UX and their UI, and I really didn't understand why they thought Weeble would be a good name for a stock trading app like this. Now, over the past few years, my opinion has definitely changed, and that is because of really one main thing, and that is their desktop app. So just in case you didn't know, Weeble is a fintech company based out of China and in my opinion still falls short in their overall brand presence in the States. What this means is if I'm an active retail investor and I use other apps like M1 Finance or SoFi or even Charles Schwab or maybe some of the other banks like Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan, I know those brands carry much more weight and when I decide to tell my future girlfriend's parents, hey, I invest with... Uh, Weeble, I, it just doesn't hit as hard as say being with some of these other brokerages like M1 Finance or even any of the OGs. And I know that can be an unfair comparison, but I still feel like in the year of 2021, it's really important for a lot of these companies to focus on their perception that other users may have outside of the investing world. So Weeble definitely falls short in that category. And I don't really see them as that premier luxury investment firm where multi multi-millionaires are using them every single day, but let me tell you something else. I do want to highlight after resisting Weeble for many years and finally trying them out, once you get over that initial learning curve and you have access to the level two data, which you can easily unlock through some of their fun programs, like their little wheel that you can win free stuff on, I haven't seen any brokerages come close to the sophistication that they offer. You will rarely catch me saying this about most companies, but their interface, their UI, their UX with the Weeble app is absolutely gorgeous on my iPad and on my MacBook. So when it comes to how they look and perform coming from their good old simple uh, trading app, which started on the mobile device, they've really made a lot of great upgrades to their system. And I do know many people who are using Weeble now and finding so much value. And if you are an intermediate user trying to become a day trader, you wanna become an expert, I 
feel like Webull might be the position that you want to look into as a trading platform. Traditionally in the past, in order to get some of this high level access, like the level two data, you would have to use Thinkorswim or some of these other brokerages that are seriously outdated. But with the way Webull is working right now, I truly believe they are making great strides into the future of where we are headed in terms of more advanced users trying to become better traders. Now, at the end of the day, Webull is easy to use. They still offer $0 trades. Yes, there's a learning curve, but it's easy to get over that and it's hard to complain. Webull is offering two free stocks, one valued up to $1,600 if you'd like to check them out in the description of this video as well. Now, to sum this entire video up, I personally recommend signing up for all three brokerages because I believe they all have key components that really complement each other. I know for me, Acorns is really the one that I don't ever have to think about. It's gonna have continuous growth regardless of where the market is headed. Now, if you want to step a little bit more than that and you have a community or you really appreciate social media, public is just killing the market right now with onboarding all these other influencers and seeing where the direction is headed for that. I also know that they won't make a mistake like what we've seen with Robinhood in the past in terms of the business model and stopping people from buying a certain stock. So if we ever do get a another short squeeze on whatever happens in the future, I know that public won't let us down because they're not constrained by any type of regulations from some of those companies on the back end. Cough, cough, Apex. Now, one last thing, Weevil is really the king right now in terms of being a full-time day trader and actually making stock investing your living. Now, I know many people who are able to replace their entire nine to five income, not only just replace, but actually retire from it or make more money than you ever thought was possible. So. If you were to do that, you know, Acorns is not gonna help you in that situation, but something like Webull would be. You have options. You literally have options where you can leverage other people's money, you can get contracts, you can go on margin. There are more things that you can do with some of these other brokerages than it would be beneficial of just having all your money in one place. If you enjoyed this video and you're watching this till the end, comment down below any questions or thoughts you had or comment down below peanuts. That's the key word for this video. Comment down below peanuts. I'll be reading all the comments. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to follow along on this incredible journey of Brian Jung, YouTube, finance, making money and teaching other people how to do the same. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I post more content about my everyday life and you want to just get a little bit more detail of who I am. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, guys, peace out.